Hi fashion lovers, you are welcome to another interesting video. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make this kimono crop jacket just like what you are seeing on the screen. It's a cut together kimono um, crop jacket with a band at the front just like what you are seeing on the screen so if it is something you want to learn you need to keep watching this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it very interesting if you are new here you are highly welcome this is so style with gb subscribe and be part of this family and to all my old subscribers thank you guys for subscribing let's get started to get started i have a piece of fabric so you can make use of one yard to 1.5 yards that's one and a half yards depending on your size so you want to go ahead and fold into two and then fold it again making it a four fold so i'm having a four fold i folded into two and then went ahead to fold again did you see so making it a four fold and the reason why i did that is that i want to cut the front and the back the same time so but if not you can you know take it one after the other cut the front and then cut the back so i'll just go ahead and measure um, what i have i have around 17 and i want it to be around um i want the length to be around 15 and a half so i'll just go ahead and mark half inch or one inch on the top as my starting point line so after i've done that on the starting point line you want to go ahead and measure half of your shoulder measurement mine is 15 divided by 2 is going to give me 7.5 so on the starting point i will mark 7.5 so the next thing i will do is to measure the length of my sleeve after marking half of my shoulder measurement i'll go ahead and measure the length of my sleeve which is 11 inches did you see so after the half of the shoulder measurement you measure your the the length of your sleeve so i'm using 11 inches as the length of my sleeve so now you want to go ahead and take your back neckline so you measure three inches as the width of your neckline come down by 1.5 inches and mark your neckline so three inches by 1.5 that is going to be my back neckline did you see that so i'm going to head to mark a curve and then from where my sleeve ends i will come down by 1.5 inches for shoulder slope so the shoulder slope is serving for both the front and the back so we are because this is kind of a free dress so we are just using 1.5 for the shoulder slope so from where your sleeve end you come down by 1.5 inches and connect your shoulder slope to the neckline did you see and then you want to go ahead and mark your sleeve opening so you can decide to measure around your you know your arm your bicep mine is 15 inches divided by two is going to give me 7.5 but because this is going to be a free dress i will mark eight inches so from that shoulder slope i will come down by eight inches and that eight inches the half inch there will just be like a you know sewing allowance but you can add like half or one inch for ease you know you don't want it to be you know too um too tight so you want to go ahead and measure like draw a straight line around that point then you know mark a straight line did you see from the for the sleeve but then on this new 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 line which is going to be your boss line you want to like come in by one inch to connect did you see because your sleeve is is supposed to be slanted did you see that is what i did came i came in word by you know one inch to connect the sleeve opening so on this new line you're going to mark half of your boss measurement um or sorry one quarter of your boss measurement add one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance so on this line i mark half one quarter of my boss measurement one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance then i'll go ahead and measure my you know my waist line you want to go ahead and get your waist line So on the waistline, you want to go ahead and measure one quarter of your waist measurement. That is on your waistline now. Then add uh, one inch for ease and one inch for the sewing allowance. Then you want to go ahead and connect from the bust to the waistline. Did you see from the bust to the waistline? 
and then you want to like do a curve did you see from that waistline to that um bust line did you see you want to do a curve this curve just for like your armhole curve did you see what i did you want to do a curve around that point so you'll be able to like cut it and that is going to serve as your your armhole curve around that point please note that this is a crop top so that's why the is looking small so you want to go ahead and cut you are cutting the neckline of the back and you're adding half inch and then you want to proceed in cutting the you know the shoulder part and you're adding half inch for the sewing allowance also cut out the sleeve did you see cut it out and then you know cut this part out after you are done you want to go ahead and remove one remove one part that part is your back then you want to the other one will be your front so you remove one that one is your back because it's going to be on food and then we want to go ahead and work on the front part so now this is going to be the front part did you see so you want to cut out the opening at the front because the front is going to be open so from the damp parts here you want to measure one inch towards here you measure two inch um two inches did you see on the damp part i measured one inch on the boss line i measured two inches and then i'll go ahead and connect it to the neckline so we are cutting it out that is going to be the opening the opening of this uh kimono crop um jacket they want to go ahead and cut this out so when you are done cutting out this is what you are going to have let me just open it so this is how the front part is going to look is slanty that's why we cut out one inch from the waist on the bust we cut out two inches and then the neckline so this is the front the back part now the back part is going to be on fold you want to go ahead and arrange on the shoulder the two shoulders and then join it on the two shoulders then when you are done joining the shoulder let me just open it up and show you what it looks like did you see i am done joining the two shoulder so i want to go ahead and work on the sleeve though that is the turn up for the sleeve so you want to cut out a fabric that will be as long as the length of the sleeve then fold it into two i think it's around um 1.75 if you fold it into two they want to turn your sleeve to the wrong side so you want to go ahead and sew that on the wrong side so turn your sleeve on the wrong side and then sew your turn up if you fold it up it should be around 1.75 or the two inches i think so then when you are done sewing this is what you're going to have then you're going to turn it to the right side that is the turn up turn it to the right side now and then close the sleeve did you see close the sleeve and then go ahead and sew the side seam let me do it for this part you want to go ahead the turn up you did for the sleeve turn it to the right side now did you see then close it up like this then you want to go ahead and sew the side seam on the wrong side the two side seam you want to go ahead and join so when you are done joining this is what you are going to have when you are done joining did you see so you want to go ahead and turn it to the right side to see what we have so this is the turn up for the sleeve for this turn up you can use a different uh, fabric just to add a bit of you know style to it or design you can decide to use another color of fabric or a you know, plain color of fabric or another pattern you know fabric to do the turn up did you see that so you can see i've done um, i've joined the side seam and this is what i have so far so the next thing is to work on the band on the front the band that is going to be on the front so you want to go ahead and measure the center front like this i have it as around 39 but i'm going to be cutting out a band that will be around 41 just to be on a safe side so we're going to be attaching a band to that front part just like or, what the design we are working with so you want to go ahead and notch this part did you see so that it will relax that curve part you want to go ahead and notch so that it will relax then as you can see i've gone ahead to you know iron it out this is what i have so far 
So I've gone ahead to cut out the band and I'll fold it. So the band is around 41 inches and I have um, folding it, I have it as 1.5. So the band is 5 inches in width, but it's folded and it's going to be, as it's folded, is um, 2.5. So you want to go ahead, attach the band to the, uh, the midpoint of the band will, you know, match with the uh, mid, mid, mid point of the neckline. Did you see? And then you want to go ahead and arrange it. Did you see? You want to go ahead and begin to pin because you are going to be sewing it. So the length of this band is 5 inches, but on fold it is 2.5. So by the time we are done joining, we will have around um, 2 inches. So you want to begin to place the line, the band to the right side now. The right side of the fabric. You can see I attach an interfacing. I use a, a pepper stay. That is what I attached on the band. I use a paper stay and then, you know, use my iron to fold it into two. Then you begin to attach. You are attaching on the right side, right side of the fabric. And the band will be on the right side. Like the band is on the right side. So you begin to like, you know, use your pin and hold it down. So you go ahead and, you know, sew. So when you are use your pin to hold it this is what you're going to have so you want to go ahead and sew it did you see what we have with this band you can use another color just to beautify this fabric so you can use another color so this is what i have after i was done sewing did you see after i was done joining the band this is what i have so i'll go ahead and cut out the excess that i have did you see so it's not taking shape the next thing is to cut out the band for the back or the belt uh, with the belt so on fold i have it as 2.5 that is five inches on fold and the length of what i have is around um 58 inches or so you can use more than that so you want to go ahead and get the midpoint so and then also get the midpoint of the fabric so this band the length is 58 inches but my actual waist is 26 inches but the length of the band is 20 58 inches and then you want to begin to join it on the waistline so the reason why it's longer like that is because it's going to have belt so assuming i have more fabric i would have increased it to around like 90 instead of using um, 58 i would have used 90 just to have a long belt so you want to go ahead and use your pin and match the band to the waistline you should have like extra like the extra i have is around that 15 so you want to like have extra by the time you are done joining the band to the waistline you should have like extra 20 inches or 15 inches on the you know the side like on the side you want to have um like on the side for the band then when you have used your pin to hold it you want to like go ahead and curve out that mouth like just the way your belt used to be because that extension is going to be your belt for that extension yours can be up to 20 30 inches depending on how you want the belt to be mine is 15 and the belt was really short but because the fabric has a, is already finished so that was why i managed it so now you want to go ahead and notch did you see what i did where the band finished like where the band uh, the band ended you want to go ahead and notch because you want to turn this band to the wrong side and sew the belt parts the parts that is going to be belt you want to go ahead and sew from the notch point that you did did you see you want to go ahead and sew that belt let me use the other side and show you just match this up did you see match it up did you see match this up to where the band stop on the fabric did you see notch it then open it up like this did you see what i'm doing open it up turn it to the wrong side and then go ahead and from that notch part you want to go ahead and sew the belt part just the belt part you can see i have sewn this part did you see and for this part i have sewn let me turn it out so that you will see what i'm doing so this is actually very easy and simple to do So when you are done, you now want to go ahead and match the 
the band now to the waist so that, that is when you are going to be joining the band to the waist after you are done sewing the belt part the band you want to now go ahead and join it to the waist did you see did you see what so that's why we need to use your pin and mash it so that you will know the actual length for the band so you want to go ahead and sew it so after i was done this is what i have this is so beautiful did you see it came out really nice and this is what we have after we are done so if you have gotten value from this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like share and see you in my next tutorial Bye bye